Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Coach Carolyn and today I want to talk about your weight shift and not this weight shift, not the lateral weight shift left and right, but the weight shift that goes forward and back in the golf swing because I see this a lot in my students that they create power through a potentially incorrect weight shift and that impacts their path. So your weight shift front and back, toes and heels, really impacts your path. And so we want to optimize it and want to make sure how it works. We want to understand it and we want to get it right. So let's jump into it. Okay, so one of my students I worked with, what he does, particularly in his golf swing, um, he basically pushes off his right side a lot. So this is what that looks like, right? So he has an out to in path. He has misses a slice, obviously, because he comes over the top. His club kind of comes over plane in the downswing. And there's many reasons why that can happen. But for him, it's specifically because when he's at the top of his backswing and the top of his backswing is actually really good. He's not too far inside, which causes, you know, coming over the top sometimes. So if you do roll it inside and your body wants to bring the club back to the front and then it, you get over plane, that is not him in this case but instead he just is really strong on his right side and you know golf is a very asymmetrical sport and some people have played other sports previously and some people are just set up that way naturally and genetically that one side is stronger your right hand or your left hand or right so when he takes back his right side really fires so his right side pushes forward and his right foot even pushes forward and what happens it pushes forward so much he actually slips backwards in his swing so then when he gets into his finish it looked like this so when i push forward right if i rotate hard i kind of like get my foot pulled back and then when he's in his finish he's a little wobbly because he actually it's hard because now your your toe is in line with your heel and you you have a hard time actually holding your finish because ideally your right foot would still be where it was in the beginning just simply on its toe right and kind of you know picked up a little bit just because you're turned through and that's this right foot turning through and standing up is more of a you know it's not actively standing up it's because you're turning it just kind of pulls the foot the foot with it which is fine so his right side is extremely dominant and extremely strong so we need to relearn what the actual motion pattern is it doesn't happen by firing your right side and pushing off that right foot or that trail foot um, it happens through a weight shift that goes left and towards the target before you actually start to rotate. So what I did with him, and we were on the golf course, and this is really important to me because you guys know I'm a previous professional player. My job was not to look pretty on the range. My job was to look pretty on the scorecard and on the course and have things that I can take with me on the course that work. So this works on the course. And the best part about this is it's not a swing thought because heck, we have way too many swing thoughts as it is. So let's try to cram all the thoughts we'd possibly have in front of the swing. So you think about it at setup and then it's done. You don't think about it in your swing because if you think of, if you think about it at setup, you can just do it and it's out of the way and out of the swing. So now I worked with him on setting up and I've done this so many times in my playing career. You set up to the ball and then you simply, in his case, because his right foot is the one that he's pushing off of, right? He's like doing this. I told him to lift his right toes up. So do you see how from down the line, you can see how my right toes, oopsie, my right toes are off the ground. And this is how I want to actually hit the ball. And you know, you can do this on the course, nobody will really see it. I mean, you see it a little bit, but you really have to pay attention to it. And in golf shoes, these are my Lululemon trainers, but I love to play golf in these, obviously you guys always see me in it. Um, it won't look weird. It feels obviously a little bit odd. And I just want you to do it on your right foot because what this does is he's up here and now it pretty much deactivates his right side because now it's really hard to push forward if I have my weight on my on my heel much more. And I don't want to say I have my weight on my heel completely, but I have my weight pretty much here. I don't have my weight here anymore. So it really blocks him naturally by simply lifting his toes from coming over the top. So now, because your hip is more deactivated and your right side is more deactivated, he can drop his hands down much easier and get those hands on plane again, drop it down into the slot and then shift and then he starts rotating. And so now his hands had time to actually catch up with him and not shoot forward from the top of the backswing like this and be over plane and struggle with this out to in slice. So let's hit a couple of shots like this. And it's gonna take a couple of shots for you to feel comfortable with it. But again, if you feel like you're slicing a lot on the course, if you feel like your right side is just too strong and firing, just lift up that right toe. Let's say we're on the course, we're setting up. The last thing I just think about is lift my right toe, lift that up. Keep it up, keep it up through the entire backswing. Just keep it up, don't put it down.
and that's really going to help you have a better lateral weight shift and not so much of a forward and back and there is obviously some forward and back weight shift in the golf swing but compared to the lateral one very minimally um, and this is going to really stabilize your footwork and it's actually have, gonna have such an impact on your path and again I love this because it's just so simple I'm not thinking about it during my swing and hit some shots like this start to feel comfortable with it and it's really going to help you. It's just one of those little tricks because we ex-players, we always think for st of the stuff that we can actually do on the course, not just stuff that adds ridiculous swing thoughts to our long list. Because Everybody has a long list of swing thoughts. This should not be one of them. Whatever you can pack into the setup, do it. Toes up. Oh, perfect little baby draw. I hope you guys love this tip. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you've tried it and if it's changed your path, if you feel like you can score better on the course, improve your impact. It usually really improves my impact when I do this because a lot of the time when we're fast, we also just kind of start coming out of our spine angle. And this is another thing. If you have your foot up, your toes up here, it's really hard to come out of your spine angle because it's just, it's just more locked and you'll feel this. Try it, trust me. Lift those right toes. And then you're going to feel like you can stay in your spine angle a lot better because you always see these um, tour players kind of pushing their butt back, right? In the transition, pushing the butt back. Oh, I mean, that's an exaggeration, right? Nobody, nobody swings like this. But you got to exaggerate in your real practice swing so that in your real swing swing, you can actually do it and be closer to the motion. Again, feel and reel are very different in the golf swing. So lifting this is going to help keep that butt back, give your hand space to drop into the slot and be able to have a really nice impact. So let me know what you think. So glad you're here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.